Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. Thanks for joining me for another round of Photoshop tips. Today's video is brought to you by Tiffinbox, uh, where image makers go for views, reviews, and interviews online. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is actually a, a trick I, I showed off during Midnight Madness at Photoshop World almost two years ago and it was how to create a better drop shadow by separating layer styles. So you can see I actually did this uh, demonstration on a little bit of dress but uh, let me show you how it goes. I'm going to start by making a selection of the model that I have on screen. So I'll use the magic wand to grab the background and then I do uh, Command Shift I, which would be Control Shift I on a PC, to actually select the model by doing an inverse and I'll clean this up by using the quick selection tool. So I'm just going to clean up her arm by painting and then I've got a little spot to knock out here around her elbow and that selection looks like it'll work pretty well. Now whenever you use the quick selection tool you do want to follow it up with refine edge so I'll go ahead and just click the refine edge button and what I'm going to do here is just smooth this selection out just a little bit and then I'll go ahead and choke it in. It doesn't have to be a pristine selection because I am really just looking to create this drop shadow effect. So I'm just going to kind of tighten it up and I'll go ahead and take that selection and just map it to a new layer. So I'll click OK and I'll turn on my background and you can see um, here of course is the model on the new layer. Now I'll use my effects and I'll add a drop shadow and you can see that this drop shadow is there right behind the model. I'm just pulling her out with the mouse. I'm going to leave the opacity set at 100% and if you wanted to you could play around with the size hey, to soften up the shadow and I'll go, oh, let's say, we'll do about uh, 10, 10 pixels and to kind of soften up the shadow and that's really about it. The placement of the shadow doesn't matter too much. I'll just leave it right there so you can see it and I'll click OK. Now the way that this trick works is I'm actually going to separate the drop shadow from the actual layer, the image layer. And I can do this by simply right clicking on the drop shadow and choosing the command called create layer. Now it tells me that you know some effects might not reproduce well but that's okay the drop shadow does. So what I've done is actually separated the drop shadow so if I hide the model you can see there is the drop shadow hey, peeking out. And this allows me to do a free transform on that shadow. So I'll go ahead and just kind of move it around and I'll do edit free transform which is command or control T and now I have the ability to warp this shadow. So if I hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC I can actually just bend and stretch this shadow now by holding the command key or the control key it allows me to grab any of the individual points of the shadow and I can manipulate it the way that I want. So I can move this really anywhere I would like for it to go. So I think I'll just pull it over here, kind of line it up with her feet. Hey, once I have the transformation complete I can go ahead and hit the enter key. Hey, and if I did want to soften up the shadow a little bit I could change my opacity. Remember your numeric keypad will let you change the opacity really quick so I'll do maybe a 50% drop on the shadow and there we have it. So this has been a quick tutorial tip. My name as always is AJ Wood. Appreciate you tuning in on YouTube and I will see you again soon.